back again. This rod is, um, I've not seen any action on it since casting it out. I'm trying to cover both angles, well, all angles today, um, with just using the two rods. This one is cast, so it's right out in the center. It's probably, it's in line where my finger is maybe, somewhere, somewhere there, it's, it's right bang out in the middle. It's, it's nowhere near the margins. And um, when I fished over there, near to where those two swans are the other day, uh, there's a car somewhere. There's someone else coming to the lake. So my car's over there. Uh, fished somewhere near, somewhere near to there. And I fished towards the middle of the horseshoe, and somebody, uh, and I managed to get a, sorry, I managed to get a 10 pound fish out from there. So I. They, people say you've got to fish right by the margins, but I don't really know. I mean, I, I, I'm gonna, I've, this rod was out. This one I've got just brought in was out right over there, right on that on that bank somewhere where there's not much tree cover. So I don't want to cast anywhere into danger. I don't want to get it caught up with anything. So I was maybe within a meter of that bank possibly. But I brought it back in, and I'll show you my setup. Now I've gone for a really, really basic setup here. Um, try and balance the camera and do this at the same time. I've got sweet corn. I did have it on the hook. Oh god, it's really difficult to do this. It was on the hook, but I've now put it onto like a boily stop type thing on this hair rig. Rubber band through it, and the hook's uh, just sticking out above it, as you can see. Uh, it might not work as well. I did have it on the hook. I had the hook all the way through it, sticking out one side uh, of it. The last time I, I used it, so I've changed the, I've changed the rating up technique slightly. This hair rig runs all the way up to method feeder, not method feeder, sorry, a cage feeder. And I've got the it's secured on, just loop, it's just basically looped through the, as you can see the loop, it's just looped through a rubber ring on this cage feeder. And then I've got the cage feeder tied with a a blood knot type knot. I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is. Oh, it's just difficult. I've got really cold hands and I'm trying to get this into a clear picture and it's not really the camera is sort of using autofocus and not really helping me here. I'm trying just about make it out I suppose. Um, yeah it's basic setup. I mean no I've got no swivel. I have got swivels available but I just thought I'd just try this instead and see if it's any good. I thought I'd just show you this before I bait up. If I catch a fish, I catch a fish and it's obviously it's obvious that it works. If not, then uh, maybe try something different next time. Where did it go? This bloody auto autofocus is crap on this camera. Oh, I don't like this at all. I'm trying to show you this and you probably not see a damn thing. But you get the idea roughly. It's just a piece of no, no fancy swivels, no fancy covering on any, anything, just the main line. And you can see the rod's quite fast action. If I just put on the feeder, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. Quite a light rod. Just pull the feeder towards me and see the tip. It does move quite quickly. And take a, so I'll hopefully find a, a good indication on that one. That one's a bit stiffer, that rod there, but still, it will go around if the fish takes it. When, when the, ten, the ten pound carp caught it, so it should go around enough, and it should give you a good indication. It's not completely stiff. Okay, so I'll bait up, put some grain bait in this, and then uh, cast it out somewhere near the bank again, I suppose, somewhere near the margin to see how we get on.